Let's, really let's go back to the match. We have the Recruit Union mixed team, the gold medal match. We have Korea going against Chinese Taipei. Chinese Taipei ranked number two in the ranking round and Korea number one. So that was a natural yes, very final. Good, uh, very good standard shooting from both these uh, these pairs. Korea. I wonder I wonder whether the junior woman from Korea will have gone back to the practice field. You know, she was on the match just before the men's team. I don't think and so. Gone back into the eastern center. I don't think so. I think they stay around in the waiting area yeah. and just yes, go back. She's warm. She knows how the field is working. Yeah, is working no, no side adjustments need made. Correct. So let's go fast to the path of Korea. Korea eliminated Turkey in the eight, eight finals and then took care of China in the quarterfinals. Beat in semifinals Ukraine and put themselves in the gold medal match. When Chinese Taipei eliminated Poland in the eighth elimination round, then Chinese Taipei eliminated Italy in the quarter elimination Eight. round. And Good body English on that shot there. Yes, and France uh, got in the semi-final on the way. So the bronze was won by France two days ago. They got the bronze medal, and here we are in yes, the gold medal Yes, I was commentating match. on that match there as well. I was commentating the show target at the, the mixed team event on Thursday, was it? Correct. And France got the bronze, and here we are in the gold. In Chinese Taipei against Korea. Korea starting with 10-9-8. Lee Wusuk coming to shoot the second arrow. Qualified with a 6.78 here. 3.38, then a 3.40. Very good shooting. Very good shooting indeed. He actually has a very open -y release. His fingers actually open quite a lot, which is quite rare for the Koreans. Koreans yeah. often have a very, very clean release there. There's no opening of the fingers. They literally come pretty much from the position they were in with the string straight back. Correct, but no. also you can see that make it very explosive. Make it yeah. open the finger a bit, but make it fast. Let's say that it's important to make a nice form, but what is really important is to do it always the same yeah. way. Consistency is the name of the game. Yes. If you uh, make it consistent, arrows do the same, the equipment do the same. If you make different kind of shots, one good release, and a little bit more with the finger, a bit more explosive, different yeah. reaction, different grouping. I know I've, tr I've tried, um, I shoot with the, the string very far forward on my fingers, right right on the end of my fingers here. And I have little, uh, little lumps and calluses on the end, which is quite funny. I can but see them. Um, <laughs> yeah, there. this is them quite soft, like that's, yeah. I have my arrow numbers are not what they would have been this week. Um, they have to calm down a bit. I also spent maybe an hour in the bath yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it's good to relax a bit before yeah. getting the next one. I've tried. Um, I've tried having a much deeper hook, which my coach tells me would have a much cleaner release. Because with it, with the string right at the end of my fingers, there is pressure actually like across yeah. the string, not and just in the back and forward. And you make more tension on your hand, of course. Exactly. More deeper, you can allow so you I've to be more relaxed. I've tried a much deeper hook. I'm shooting at 70 meters. Um, if my sight is set the way I normally shoot, shooting in the middle, then I've gone from maybe a 57 size group in the 10 to a 57 size group left 6. Yeah, it yes. makes a massive, instantaneously, from my normal hook to a deep hook with the fingers, you know, in a sort of U shape, then... Uh, the way that the string jump out yeah. and get this first... It changes first the tune quite a lot. This first uh, move is different depending, of course, how you grip and the tension the finger are. That's probably one of the few technical changes I'm going to do this winter. 33 against 37, and Korea, no. Korea leading, Chinese, Chinese Taipei, Taipei still shooting left, they have a very nice group on the left there, they just need to... So we were talking bef in the previous match, what about moving the side? <laughs> yeah, in matches like this you need to be very proactive about it. As my coach Lloyd Brown says, <coughs> excuse me, no. he says, um, trust and adjust Patrick, trust and adjust. Yeah. Trust your shot, adjust your side. In matches like this, if if you have two ends bad, you can lose the match. You need to trust your shot, trust that you shot it well, hopefully you did shoot it well, and then adjust to move your sight in. As yeah. we saw that Garrett yeah, did in the last match. They don't need to adjust the sight at all, maybe a little low. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can be pedantic. You, uh, we call it um, comfort clicks in the UK. Okay. Realistically, it's not going to move anything, but it makes you feel better. Yeah. But Indeed, the Chinese Taipei, they, they had all the group on the left. Let's see them on the side. They very little room to play with. They need to shoot perfect here to put any pressure on 
on Chinese Taipei. Or on Korea, sorry. Chinese Taipei opening with the ten. Yes, yes, yes touching, the touching the ten. As soon as it's touching the line is the next score. We have the rather diminishing in popularity carbon blades on the lady from Chinese Taipei here. It's a nice idea when it first came out, but I just always thought there could be, you know, the wind is not a parallel phenomenon. If the wind was always left to right, right to left, straight and flat, brilliant. But particularly shooting 70 or 90 meters where you have an angle, the wind comes towards you, that's going to pick your, pick your bow up. But now we have the Carbon X taper coming from Fuse. Similar idea to reduce the, the wind drift, but instead of it being a a blade or an oblong shape, it's uh, a circle, a round cylinder, which tapers down quite a lot. I think it starts about the guts of an inch in diameter, down to about a centimeter, so it's far end. Very close. Very good shooting from Korea. I think uh, that's a 28, I'm going to say. 38, 38. Taipei, Korea wins that set by one point and is awarded two set points. And now the score stands at four set points for Korea. Zero for Chinese Taipei. Chinese Taipei shooting first on target number two when we resume. Very nice graphics on the, the field of play. I'm not sure if you can see them in yeah, you can see them in one of these the, the cameras. Very nice graphics. Fort Toto, World Art Tree, I'm guessing all the, the main headline sponsors. Yes, we have our sponsors logos on the field of play, strategically located to be visible in cameras and in the photos. You can see well, it is great of them to to support the sport of archery and give us so many more opportunities. I'm sure without them we would struggle very much to do what we do. We were mentioning before that no event can happen without volunteers, but also no event can happen without sponsor or exactly. supporter that can allow us to put yeah. this kind of event in place and, and bring the TV, bring all the equipment, timing, scoring, media team. Well, World Archery runs so many quality events in the year now. We have all three stages of the Indoor World Cup, four stages of the Indoor four World Cup? Four stages, Four right stages now. Indoor World Cup, four stages of the Outdoor World Cup, World Championships, European Championships, <laughs> World Ranking Events, European Grand Prix. There are so many events these days. World Cup Finals, Indoor and Outdoor, it's getting yeah, busy. Yeah, Mexico City this, this year, isn't it? Correct, in the middle of the city. Wow, with the brilliant. With the statue of Diana, the archer behind of the archers. That is brilliant. I think <laughs> it might even best that the the juniors are going to yeah. the junior GB archers are going to a junior European Grand Prix in or not Grand Prix I think it's the Europa the Cup, Cup in Rome in just before I think two weeks before the World Championships in Copenhagen and so the middle venue. of July yes the the finals field is in the Coliseum correct yes that the is Coliseum. amazing I am so envious that I cannot go to that shoot because the photos my God the photos will be amazing we pick iconic places if we don't have people coming I think that to will us I think that will be the best yeah. Eiffel Tower that's a good venue a but I think the Coliseum venue. that will that will pretty much win in my opinion we will see the photos afterward we can see right now we are back on the match it's they are just making 10 20 Korea Chinese 20 Taipei, Taipei. Need to keep the match going nine. it's a 9 they need to shoot a 10 here to put Give them a chance of keeping the match going. Koreans have shot very well so far. I think they've only dropped one arrow into the nine, perhaps. They really want it, and it's not like they finish in, in rank number one. And Korea to shoot their second two hours of this set. Will they take home their third world championship in an hour? That would be a nice way to do things. Very nice way. Nine. nine. No time to think. Another eh? nine. One gold would uh, would take the match here. Take the match. Take the world championship gold. Yeah. Lee Wu Suk coming up to full draw. That was nine for the win. And nine. nine. Got it. They really got it. But three times the Korean national anthem now. That's Kristen Drain that we can hear in the background. He does a lot of the MC jobs of these World Championships. I know he commentated my matches in Wuxi. Really nice guy. Canadian Recur, been on their Olympic team. Probably one of their highest regular, or reg most regular high performers on the, on the Canadian side. Team Korea, world champions, the Shoots a hoik bow with Dunker Long Roads. 
Um, I think perhaps a Sherlock site, but I'm not 100% on that. Excellent performance. The Korean archers winning in straight 5-1 set points. Not the Chinese Taipei didn't shoot well. Korea just gave them no nothing option. to work with. No option at all. And that's very often the case when you meet Koreans, you have to do the, the match of your life and be in a super high The match of your life and hope that they don't have <laughs> the match of their life. And they have a regular day, like yeah. one more day in the office. 